there are two, th two three types of competition. One is competition in the market, okay, or in the school, or in the field. Most parents will have competition with their children. What is your son scored? I never ask that one. How much your son scored and how much my son scored and compare? Don't do that. It is not good for you and worse for your child. Every flower is beautiful, but it's in own way. You cannot say rose is better, hibiscus is not. No, hibiscus has its own property, its own color, its own volume, and uh, it, it, it looks different. Every child is a flower by himself or it, herself. Do not compare. And you know, when uh, my children used to appear for the exam, they get marks, I will just see, keep quiet. I have seen many parents, because I came from a teacher's family, I understood what it is. But I have seen parents, they will retotal it. Okay? They retotal, not the child. The child is very happy to play outside. <laughs> oh, teacher has not given one mark here. You know, in programming, there is one mark less. Out of ten, she has given nine. He, um, but the real problem, uh, the pro uh, programming is really right. So she or she should get ten. Next day they come with that. Sir, you should give my child or madam, you should give ten marks. Okay? Due to some reason, the child, you know, what happens when correcting paper, even as a teacher, I know. For us, between nine and ten, there is not much difference. It's very, very good. Okay. Uh, logically, handwrite, everything is good. Give ten. Little bit of the difference is there, give nine. Okay, that's the way. Normally, I never used to give ten marks to anybody. Always keep them a little low. Always we prefer to give, as a teacher, you don't want to give hundred out of hundred in language at least. No language other than Sanskrit, you can get hundred out of hundred. Because language is individual. Individual taste. In mathematics and all, you cannot help it because logically you should do that one. But still, if the child gets 99, parents said, where he... I have seen so many parents telling their child, the child comes with the report, I got 95. Instead of being happy for 95, where did you lose the remaining five marks? <laughs> Don't ever do that. You know, if you burn them when they are young, they will be burnt out by the time they come to college. And you regret for that. Don't make your child burnt out by the age of 14 or 16 or 18. They have big life ahead. You want your child to... What is your aim in life actually? You should question that. What is your aim in life? I want my child should get always first rank. It is not possible. Because this world has many bright people, many scoring people, many good people. Not that nobody can remain in the zenith for a long time. Nobody, including Bill Gates. Nobody can remain. Because... Mother Earth, Kalidasa says in his poem, in one of his classics, Bahuratnani Vasundhara. He says, Oh Mother Earth, you have many Kohinoor diamonds in, with you. Not one Kohinoor, many Kohinoor diamonds. So, your child has many things which is inside. Don't, don't ever think why the child lost five marks. Be happy, he got 95. That means almost five marks he missed to the perfection. Be happy. Don't go on adding marks and quizzing the teacher. Why he should not get 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Okay, teacher will say, okay, take one more mark, doesn't matter. But by the time, you know, you do, your child observes. Please remember, role models are not Sudha Murthy. Role models to your children are parents. How your mother talks, how, what lies she tells, not the, the father is later, first is mother. That's something we call a mother tongue. And mother, every mother thinks the child is an extension of her body. It's a reality. When the child cries, why mother? The child is crying, mother is not crying. Nothing happened to mother. The child is hurt, but mother cries. Because every woman, it's biologically and psychologically, the child is an extension of her body. If something happens to the child, mother cannot take it. That's a very unusual, unconditional love God has gifted between mother and a child. So you have more responsibility than father. Then father, whatever you do, your child will absorb that like a sponge. Suppose you lie on the telephone, the child says, okay, that is the correct way, you and I should do that. If you compare 95 to 100, when the child grows big to, you know, and gets a job, he compares himself or herself with his colleague, what promotion he got. Today you compare for marks, tomorrow they compare for uh, uh, grading or they compare for the promotions, salary. It is nothing like, I don't say you should not compare. Where you are needed to compare, to learn something new, yes, you have to compare. With whom you have to compete then? You have to compete within yourself. The most important is, you have to compete 
within yourself. Like last year, last year, what are, everyone knows what is my good and bad, everybody knows. You can fool people, but inside you know what is good and what is, how much, what is your weak area. You know, my children used to tell me, Amma, you are very weak mother. I said, what is the definition of a strong mother? When the child doesn't listen, she will see that, she will make it him or her to listen. I said, no. Every mother is a weak, because that is the weakest link is a mother actually, mother's affection. Mother should be strong in certain good in value system. Like, smoking is just not allowed. At any cost, it is not allowed. Drug is not allowed at any cost. Telling lie is not allowed at any cost. Not respecting elders is not allowed at any cost. Rest. I want to see 10 minutes TV, 5 minutes TV. Just allow 10 minutes, means give 10 or 12 minutes and switch it off. Don't say that, no, you can't see 10 minutes TV, then the child will see neighbor's house and go with 30 minutes TV. So, 10 minutes TV, better, TV is not good to see at this young age, it will affect your eyes, it will affect your eyes. And you know, more than that, let us learn a communication. Other day I was in my friend's house and they said, after many years we all of us met in the US. We said, let the family meet, everybody came. I went early, I said, there's some five minutes time is there, I opened up my iPad and did something. Meantime, my other friend came, he thought, oh, others have not come. He took his iPhone and he discovered something. Third person came, oh, not all of them have come, he opened his iPad and did something. So, in ten minutes, many people came, but assuming that nobody has come, everybody were in iPhone, laptop, everything. Then I said, if this is a get-together, why have get-together? If your gadgets, you are busy with the gadgets all the time, and then why have get-together? Because the advantage of gadget is efficiency. It's a great efficient tool, but tool is not all in all life. Sweet or the dessert is very, very nice. Jalebi is very nice to eat, but you cannot fill your stomach only by jalebi. Life is like a thali. Please remember, life is like a thali. In thali, what do you eat? A normal vegetarian thali, I can tell because I'm a vegetarian. Uh, one cup of rice, one bowl of rice, two chapati, one dal, one sabji, one raita, dahi, one sweet, two papad, and little achar. This is a, a normal thali. When you eat this kind of a food, you feel full at the end of the meal. Even though you may like achar a lot, you can't fill up your stomach with achar. You may like jalebi, you cannot fill up. You may like rice, but you cannot fill up. Okay? The combination of all makes life full. So is human life. Your child may be very good in one thing, but see that he or she will have other parts of the thali. Then only life becomes beautiful. Your child may have your child may have an aptitude for drawing don't curb it it is not that you know in my work i have seen so many people actually particularly in radio jockeys when i talk to them most of them are b i said beta why you did b and came to uh, radio jockey he told me my parents wanted i should become an engineer and i became and later at 21 22 i realized I, I, my mind is not in it so I came back. Dramatics, I have seen so many people who are basically engineers. And uh, I have a photographer, Mandana. He's an excellent photographer. He said, I did my B, M Tech, and by the time I was 24, I realized I'm not fit for this. Please allow your child to bloom what they want. But legally, ethically, it should be right. I want to be a chore. Okay, that is not correct. No? <laughs> that is what I like. No, that is not correct. But legally, ethically, it should be right. And also, to some extent, you have to tell commercially viable. Because it's nice to be a good artist. But you cannot live only by art in today's competitive world. You do require money to live. So you should marry between commercial and what you like as much as possible. And such life has much more meaningful and they enjoy more. So as a child, as, as a mother, I want to tell you, don't compare your child's marks with someone else's. You are introducing unnecessary tension to your child. I have seen in school, teenagers like 13, 14 having BP. Because all the time they're worried, if I don't get a first rank, uh, one boy told me, it's not my problem if I don't get first rank. My mom will be crying whole day. To make her happy, I, you know, I should get a first rank. No, don't do that. And first rank and all does not have real, lot of meaning in real life. You know, as a child, I, you know, you nice know, to feel that way. You should always get a first rank. But someday I realized, it is good to do, get good marks. It is good to work hard. But that is not all in all in life. What you require in life is like a thali meal. You should be intelligent enough to understand the reality, understand the relevance of life, understand 
what I can do, what I cannot do. You know, there is no, nothing like, you know, people say, oh, there is no word I, I cannot do. Napoleon used to say, there is no word, no in my dictionary. That is good for Napoleon and I don't know what he really told. There are certain things you cannot do. Okay? Such things you should, should not get into that actually. Certain things you can improve. Certain things you can definitely excel. Studies are in your hand, you can excel. Results are not in your hand. Because it is, it is grading is done by someone else in a CBSC, ICSC paper that you cannot tell. Okay, I have done well. At the most you can do. Our education system also, also makes us to do question to answer. But please remember, you have to have compassion. You, have to, in, you, know, you have to teach your children compassion when they are very young age. A discipline. The most important is the discipline in life. Love for the country. Love for the country. And and studies hard working but love for the country you should teach in 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 any of the national anthem or anything is there if the child doesn't stand up you should tell the child if you don't stand up my mom is to do if there's a national anthem anywhere you have to stand up if you don't stand up no dinner on that day whatever may be your condition no dinner so for me national anthem was associated with the dinner actually <laughs> okay as a child but it became a discipline later i realized why because as a child, you won't under, children won't understand the importance of that. But later, they appreciate that. So in general, what I want to tell parents is, don't pressurize. Don't live, the, uh, don't live your children's life through their life. Don't live. I did not become a doctor. Let my child become a doctor. No. Doc, to, be a do, to become a doctor was your dream. It may not be her dream. What you cannot complete, they can't complete. Because they may like, may not like. They may complete also. But don't live your life through the, your dreams through them. Don't ever do that. Because every individual has a life, has a liking, has their own way of leading life. Like everybody should run their own marathon. You cannot read, you cannot make your child to run the marathon which you wanted. So what other parents you can do is you can encourage, discourage bad values, encourage good values. And then allow them to question. I wrote this book, uh, what is this, um, uh, Serpent Revenge and Other Stories. Because as a child, I used to ask so many questions and my, my parents, my grandparents did not know the answer. They said, don't ask questions in Mahabharata and all because we, they themselves did not know. So I just kept my questions with me. And when I grew up, I read about 10 to 20 different Mahabharatas and logically directed what it could have been the answer. So... You should always encourage children to ask questions. And if you do not know answers, don't act. Tell, I do not know. There is nothing wrong. There is no sarvadna in life. There is nobody who knows everything. There is no one. Second thing, today there is a Google. If you don't tell, they will Google and find out and they will tell, oh, mom told me a lie. Don't get into that. Say, better, I do not know. I will, I will see that. I will read and I will get back to you. So, it is very, it is not easy to be a parent actually, it is quite a responsible job. But it is also a joyous job. You can see the creativity of a child from a toddler to a LKG to first standard, questioning habits and then passing the examination and then turning out to be a fine lady or gentleman. It is such a beautiful, it is like a, it's like a, see a small plant growing up to a big tree, you can witness that and what you can do is affectionately to look after without expecting anything from them. Please remember, you are not a money lender. I spent so much money on you and in my old age you should return. No. We bring up children for our joy. We brought them up, we have to bring them up. It's our, it's such a beautiful joy, it's a God's gift to us. Also, it's a responsibility. And if you understand what to do, what not to do, I'm sure you will have a great journey with your children. As a mother, I want to tell you, girls will not listen to you after 14 years. 14, no, girls will, about 12, 13 years, girls become a little upset, um, may not tell everything, but they become great friends after 19. Okay? Boys will be very affectionate to mothers up to 14. Okay? After that, they have their whole world and they look down upon cricket is the greatest thing, other things are less and all those, because it is all cycles, you know. So, enjoy your boys up to 14. Enjoy your girls after 19.